Guys, this is the final gun product. Our homemade garlic parmesan chicken tenders. Hi guys! Welcome back again to my channel, Lian's Buhay in America. For today's video, we will make a very easy and simple recipe, the homemade garlic parmesan chicken tenders. Okay, so we need only very few ingredients. It's very easy and very few ingredients. So, I will show you what are the ingredients, guys. We need one egg. I already whisked it. And then uh, I already put a little uh, salt and pepper. And then we, of course, we need the salt. We need pepper. We need the um, garlic powder. We need any kind of breadcrumbs, any brand of flour, and then uh, any brand or kind of parmesan, grated parmesan. And then uh, we need oil, frying oil. So you can use any kind of frying oil. And of course, we need our chicken tenders. Okay, this is one pound and six ounces of chicken tenders. Okay, join me and I'll show you how to make the easiest chicken tenders. Garlic parmesan chicken tenders. Let's go! So guys, I already added salt to our chicken tenders. And then um, I already put um, a little salt and um, pepper in our beaten egg, one egg. Okay, guys, let's add the powdered garlic to our chicken tenders. Okay. And then also, let's add garlic to our egg. Okay, whisk. Whisk the egg. And then, let's... Let's add more garlic on our chicken tenders. We can also add parmesan on our chicken tenders. This will make our chicken tenders really yummy. So just mix it well. Okay. I love parmesan cheese. Me and my husband, we love parmesan cheese. Add two table, uh, two teaspoon of um, flour to your egg. Okay, this is the second teaspoon, and then. Mix it with your egg. So now your egg contains it contains some um, salt, pepper, garlic powder, and then uh, flour. Guys, you know my secret in my chicken tender to make it more delicious is what I'm doing is. Instead of dipping our chicken tender here one by one to our egg and then roll it to our breadcrumbs, so what I do is put it all, okay, this is my technique guys. You can do it one by one, but this is more easier and, um, you know, so I, because I want the egg and the parmesan to get really into our chicken tender. So this is what I do, you know. Uh, I will just put it all together in our egg with the salt, curry, pepper. Then I will just let it sit for maybe five minutes. Okay. Just let it sit there for five minutes, guys, while we are preparing our breadcrumbs. Okay. And then later we will roll this one by one in our breadcrumbs with parmesan. Okay. Let it sit to four or five, um, at least three minutes, guys. Okay. Guys, in a separate bowl, 
okay, in a separate clean and dry bowl. Um, add your, mix your um, breadcrumbs and your parmesan, okay? This is um, one and a half of breadcrumbs and then you can add like two-third cups of um, parmesan cheese, okay? So mix it together, okay? Let's get a dry fork. Combine, combine your parmesan cheese and your breadcrumbs and then mix it well. So this is where we are going to roll our chicken tenders, see? This is our chicken tenders with the egg, with parmesan, with salt, with pepper, and then uh, with um, garlic, with powdered garlic. We will roll them one by one in our breadcrumbs here before frying them. This is really very easy guys, see? Then after rolling your tenders, all your chicken tenders here, we will fry them. Oh guys, you will really love this recipe. It's so easy, right? Easy to prepare. Easy to cook and it's so very yummy recipe that your family will love. Okay. So now we can roll one by one our, um, after letting to sit for three minutes, now we can roll it to our crumbs with parmesan. So now guys, let's roll our chicken tenders here one by one to our prepared crumbs with parmesan, okay? So one by one. Ta-da! Our beautiful tenders here, chicken tender. Okay, put it there. Then just make sure that it's your chicken tender is all well covered by uh, your crumbs, crumbs and parmesan. Okay. Look, ta-da! Beautiful, right guys? So just the same. Do the same for the rest of your chicken tenders. And then put it in a dry clean separate plate okay chicken tenders with your breadcrumbs you can now start uh, frying them okay. let's go let's fry them guys in a low in a low fire heat a pan with your frying oil 
make sure your oil is um, hot enough be before putting your um, your chicken tenders okay this is how much oil um, I put and then just make sure it's hot enough so once your oil is hot enough once it's ready you can now add you can now put our chicken tenders there okay chicken tenders until it's golden brown I will show you how it will look like later I will show you what you know how how crispy it will be later stay tuned mm, guys smells so good okay let's flip our chicken tenders flip it one by one okay oh nice Okay, and then just repeat the process for the rest of your chicken tenders here. Should be golden brown. Okay. Then pour it in a paper towel to absorb the oil. So it will be very oily. Okay, this one is done. Look how pretty. Ah, smells good, baby, right? Very good. No, no, don't do that. Don't do that? Okay. Yeah, if you put too many in, it reduces the okay. temperature of the oil and okay. it doesn't cook as well. Okay. Alright, nice Our homemade garlic parmesan chicken tenders. My husband really loved this. What I'm still cooking is already eating. He got one already. <laughs> yeah, we love this recipe. Very simple and very easy to, to prepare and to cook. Your family will definitely enjoy this. Your kids and your wife or husband will definitely enjoy this recipe. Enjoy! Bye! Next time again!